Good morning, everyone. This is Teacher Sabrina. It's nice to be with you today. I really miss seeing you in person. It's now time to greet one another. Let us greet each other by waving our hands together. Shall we do it now? Thank you, kids. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we are now gathered here to be with you. Help us to listen well to your story. Help us know that you care for each one of us. Thank you for this time. Kids, you know what? I really need your help right now. I cannot find my pussycat. I think I lost her. I looked everywhere in the house, but I couldn't find her. I feel so sad. I do love and care for that cat. But where is she? Maybe she's in my bedroom. Let's go to my bedroom. Is she here? Pussy, pussy, are you here? Did you see my pussy cat? Huh? She's under the bed. Oh yes, there she is. I am so glad to see her again. Pussy, come out now so I can take care of you. Thank you kids for helping me. Today we're going to have a story. Long time ago, Jesus told his friends a story. The story is called the story of the lost coin. Everyone, please stay on your seat right now while I tell you the story. A lady had ten silver coins that were very precious to her. One day, she saw that one of her silver coins was lost. She counted them carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where could I have dropped my precious coin? She wondered. She looked in things and under things, but she couldn't find her lost coin anywhere. Then she got a broom and swept her whole house, but she didn't find that precious silver coin. The lady was sad. She lit a candle and searched for, e for her precious coin in every dark corner until at last she found it. She told her friends the good news. I have found the one that was lost, she said. Everyone was happy and they all celebrated together. Jesus told this story to show how much God loves people who are far from him. The angels in heaven celebrate when even one precious, lost person trusts in God, Jesus said. That's our story for today. We are now in our question and answer portion. I have five questions. The first one, how many coins did the lady have? Ten coins. Second question, what was the lady looking for? The lost coin. Third question, did she find the lost coin? Yes. The fourth question, how did she feel when she found the coin? Happy. The last question, what lesson did Jesus tell us in this story? God cares for us. Is there something special you have lost? How did you feel when you found it? What is the story telling us? We are sometimes like the lost coin when we stop listening and loving God. Sometimes children are too busy playing games, watching Netflix, drawing, reading books that we fail to remember God. Jesus is always looking for you. Jesus wants us to give Him our time. We can talk to Him by praying. We can sing songs that tell about God's love. We can ask Mama or Papa to read Bible stories to you. Jesus feels sad when we forget Him. He loves us very much. He cares for you. He is always looking for you. He wants you to grow up doing good and loving Him. He is always looking for you. Does Jesus care for us during these COVID-19 times? 
Yes, he cares for us. He cares for the sick. He sent doctors and nurses to treat them. He cares for the hungry. People provide the needy with food. He helps mama and papa to be strong when problems come. He is with us every time. Let us say our memory verse three times. First Peter 5, 7. God cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. God cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. God cares for you. Remember that God cares for you. Can we say that verse again? Changing the word you to me. First Peter 5, 7. God cares for me. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for giving us this time. Thank you for telling us that you care for us. Help us to remember you every time. Help us to remember you in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Goodbye, kids. Stay safe at home.